This is AYS Reactions, and welcome back to another reaction, another review. You guys can already see what it is. Kuroko's Basketball, episode 47. It's obvious. I don't know what's obvious. Uh, what is obvious is that we are struggling currently. Kuroko's on the bench, and that is left... It's basically left up to Tepe to take Morosuke Ibarra and Kagami to take Himuro. And the problem with Himuro is that we don't know what he can do yet. And Coach Alex has already confirmed that Kagami's just behind. He, he, he's, Himuro has kind of surpassed him. But he's been practicing, so we'll see how that goes. And then obviously, Morosuke Ibarra, a miracle, has the most ridiculous range on... with the, Basically, the entire inside of the three-point line is his range to block anything and everything that you put up. So... That was in my my suggestion was to try to have Hugo drop some really deep threes and uh, try to force him out because which I don't know how they're going to do because he's going to stay in there. That's his that's his domain. That's his domain. He runs everything in there. So Tepe is going to have to do something. I don't know what he's going to do, but he's going to have to do something. He's got that new vice claw move. So we'll see how that goes. But before getting into that, shout, huge shout out to all the Patreons. Thank you guys so much for your continued support on the channel. It really means a lot. If anyone's interested in becoming a Patreon member, wants to support the channel, uh, you will also get uh, Kuroko every single day, um, no opacity, full uh, audio, and uh, completely uncut. So uh, the link will be in the description if you guys are interested at all. Um, it's Kuroko just for right now, but if you're interested in anything else, please let me know in the comments and I'll see about adding it later on. But uh, that's kind of how the Patreon is working right now. If anyone's interested, link will be in the description below. Also, guys, if you could leave a like, it really helps uh, me with the uh, channel, helps let me know what you guys like and what you don't like. Also, if you're new, go ahead and subscribe, join the AYS crew, we would love to have you. And yeah, ain't no more talking, let's get back to this game against Yosin, I'm excited. Coffee time, guys, let's go. I promise you may have your ring. It's not a bet at all. Oh, that's true. Yeah, he... Wait a minute. Wait a goddamn minute. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not trying to pause it that early, guys. This is the earliest I think I've ever paused it. But, you know, for someone who's pretty dense a lot of the time, they even said he really doesn't have a capacity for anything else besides basketball. Um... He made a very good point, like a very good point, because this whole thing was about their brothership being on the line. And, you know, if he uh, wins, I think, what was it? I think if he lose, um, I forgot exactly. I thought it was if Hamuro loses against Kagami, they won't be brothers anymore. And that's why Kagami lost on purpose. So they still be brothers. But that didn't go as planned. So at this point, like he said, is it basically like if you win, you're not brothers. If you lose, you're not brothers. So what's the point? <laughs> what's the point of this? Why did you even still hold on to the ring? I, I know I need to hear this. I just thought of that. It was like, Barasa actually brings up a really good point. That was pretty insightful. You're not brothers either way. It's not a bet. It's just a statement. <laughs> and the ring, you might as well throw that away, Hamaro, because I think you've made that very clear. I don't know. That's right. So I'm, I'm confused about what Hamuro's issue is. Oh, here it goes. Here it goes. It's going right through. Wait, what? Ice could have... I thought he was in the air, though. It totally looked like he was going for a shot. That was a perfect fake. Oh, pincer attack. He has to shoot it now or else uh, pass it off. Oh, what's that vanishing or the ghost shot? <laughs> oh, why couldn't they react? I'm so confused. Yeah, he's not doing anything. Okay, what? That's what I thought. Because he tried... What? He's an incredibly ordinary player. Oh! Oh, okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't mean to pause it again. It's just it's just crazy the things that they're bringing up in this up in this. And this is actually real life. So, like she said, he's one of those ordinary players, but he's not ordinary in the sense that 
he has perfected um uh, mechanics you know you, just normal mechanics basically all the basics that you learn he's perfected them you're shooting uh basics your um dribbling basics all your basics that you learn when you when you first learn basketball he's perfected all of them is what it seems like they're saying to me he's not extraordinarily good at anything particular he's just perfected everything normally you call this a jack of all trades master of none he's the master of all the trades <laughs> kind of like you know he's not going to have the blocking ability of Morosky Barra. he's not going to have the jumping ability of uh Kagami or the dribbling and uh, the dribbling ability and formless shot that Almine has you know so on and so forth he he's just he has a bunch of ordinary skills that he has perfected to the letter he is he's mastered fundamentals that's what he has done he has mastered fundamentals that's crazy uh, that's interesting man i like him Earl, but what is his problem why doesn't he want to be brothers anymore i just don't understand somewhere in your heart he's still hoping they can Wow. Couldn't, I didn't feel. Okay, this is starting to sound like jealousy. This is on some Itachi and, and Sasuke mess. Yo, this is on some Itachi and Sasuke mess, guys. Y'all remember when Itachi, uh,. Oh my gosh, what is that? This is the real problem. Mirage shot. This is the real problem. He can be a master of fundamentals all he wants. This is the problem. Mm hmm Tell me this is not Itachi and Sasuke, guys. Freaking Itachi. You guys remember, spoiler alert for anybody who hasn't seen Naruto. Oh, they're taking Kagami out? Oh, okay. That's smart. He can't separate emotions from the game. That's smart. Yo, Itachi told Sasuke, I want you to hate me and then come get me when your eyes are like mine. That's what he's doing. Basically, see me as an enemy so you can unlock your true potential. Yeah, their biggest problem is Marasa. Jeez, this man is huge. <laughs> Show them why people work hard, Tepe. Show them why people work hard. Ooh. So knowing that you can say things like that. That's Oh, no. God dang. Oh, very nice rebound. Outside. Oh, okay, Tepe. So he kind of expected the block and was ready for the outsider. God. Y'all don't know he used to be a point guard. <laughs> he used to be a point guard. Yeah, he can hit those. Exactly. Technically, we've already pierced it because we're scoring. The other teams weren't even scoring. What is this? They switched it up. They switched it up. They put him as point guard. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, we about to tear them a new one. Let's go. This is a really smart uh, play because this throws them off. The big man is the point guard. Oh. He can if he wants to. You can't reach him. Tepe too long for that. Come on out. Come on out, Marasa. This is what I was saying. You need to lure him out. Yes! Pass! Pass! So that's how it is. He's gonna pass it. Yup, I said it! I, I told y'all, you have to lure him out the middle. Easy. Ooh. You have to pass it out again. Pass it out. Ooh. Pass it out. Pass it out. Repeated attacks can't be Marasa's defense. 
By the time it takes for him to land, someone's already up in the air. There's nothing he can do about it. Don't get the wrong idea out here. We trying to win. And we plan to win. Ooh. God dang, he gripped the fire out that. Woo. It doesn't matter if you don't jump or not, though. Can you block it? You fell for it again, my guy. You fell for it again. Exactly. You don't have a choice. Easy. They're stuck in a loop. There's nothing you can do. Oh, there we go. There we go. Mm. Basically, guys, what I was going to say is that they, they're going to have to... This time, there's nothing... They can't just overpower the plan. Yosin's got to come up with a plan to respond because... There's nothing uh, Morosuke Bar can do about it. Either you go for the block or you let him shoot. Tepe, and, I, and this is what I, I, guys, I said this. If someone can start hitting threes from the outside, then you're forcing Morasa to come forward for the block. That's when you can dump it off. And it, at that point, it doesn't matter. Like you said, there's a delay in the time it takes for him to come down from as high as he can jump. Because he's trying to reach the highest point. He's jumping high on purpose. So it takes time for him to come back down. By that time, the ball's already circulated to someone else that's too far away for him to stop. And that goes for the rest of the team as well. So <laughs> they, this is a problem for Yosin. I got to give credit to Rico for this plan. <laughs> he wanted to block it. Marasa wants to block it. Mm-hmm. At the same time, though, Marasa has to go for it. I wish Kagami could do it. Should you throw this out? Oh. He's realized what he has to do. He has to let it go. Yes, he, he has to let it go. I always look to the future, man. I mean, if Amaro doesn't want to be uh, we brothers anymore, that's cool. It is what it is. I, you have to look to the future. No one can beat Kagami now. Ooh, what has this unlocked? <laughs> he got that look in his eye, like, "Yep, all right, you told me not not to care no more. I don't care no more. Anybody can get it." He did not. Oh my gosh, he is really good at fakes. Hold on, this is beyond fundamentals. He's just, ooh. Woo. And that was smart. He didn't let the ball go. He didn't let him uh, let the ball go. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hold on, Marasa is as at the end. This is bad. God dang, stop drawing him so huge. <laughs> yeah, what should you do? Look, if you can score on him, this is going to be a huge blow to his ego. Exactly. Whoa! He got some height. This isn't good, though. He can block that. Oh, my gosh. Ah, Kagami. I thought you were thinking something. Wait. Did he try to draw a foul? Oh. Aerial combat time. He's trying to unlock it. He messed up, though. God dang, they're on him. That's great, though. Someone's wide open. Somebody is wide open. Three of them on one? It doesn't matter. Someone else is open. 
Open man, open man. Oh no. Don't let him don't 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 that. Oh. Of oh, come on. Not the sweat. No, nah, he's got it. It left his hands. It's a mirage shot. Oh, he tipped it. He tipped it. Did it throw off the shot? <gasps> it doesn't matter. Oh, I thought someone else got the rebound. That's great. Wait, he realized something. Oh. Oh, nice. Very nice. Triple team. Somebody is open. I kid you not. Yes. Just be careful. There you go. Oh. Yeah, he should have taken more time. Okay. Okay. First of all, I do feel like that would have been over the back in a real game, in a, in real life, in, the, in a game, but that's okay. Because he just punked down Marasa. I'm not trying to, like, <laughs> low play Marasa right now, but come on now. Come on now. He got the rebound over Marasa and then dunked it on his head. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just had to say that. But I can tell he's he's burning out. This is not This is very bad. He needs to chill a little bit. I know why he's doing this, but he needs to chill a little bit. He's burning himself out. No. No, 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 no. He's pushing himself too hard. At least we didn't have to use one of our own timeouts. It fell dramatically. Come on, my guy. You, you gotta chill for a sec. Take him out. That's true. He wouldn't listen even if you told him to. Ooh! Nice steal. Tepe. I kind of like the triple team right now. It's giving him a break. Yeah, just pass it. Come on, Azuki. Eagle eye this. He can't he can't block all three. If we do this right. No, you won't. If we do this right. <laughs> yep. Kagami in for the dunk, baby. Only five points behind. We need some threes up here. No, don't enter the zone. Not the zone. Stay out the zone. Oh, he's in the zone. He's getting in the zone. This will just play Jack of Puke. He's entered it. He's in the zone. Oh, no, 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 no. He's in the zone. We are about to get it. <laughs> we are about Siren is in for it, y'all. We, we got a problem on our hands, guys. So where do I even begin? Um, so the team did actually what I said that they should do. They basically forced Marasa to come out. They kept forcing him to come out because they switched Tepe to point guard, which was genius. Because the thing is, is that um, Izuki's great as point guard, but he's not the best shooter. As we saw, he missed that one shot. Um, and then on top of that, he's not very tall. So with having that many tall people and Rasa in the back like that, basically covering everything, the other tall people come up and can basically... They, they can basically stop him. I mean, even that other guy's uh, bigger and a little, I think he's a little taller than Azuki. The, their point guard who's holding our point guard, he's a little bit taller than Azuki, if I'm correct. Um, either his either his same height or taller. Tepe is extremely tall. He's up there close, at least, to the other guys on um, Yosin. So with him doing this and shooting and stuff like that, it makes it a lot harder to block that shot, which means he's more than likely gonna get his threes off. Like he proved because he used to be a point guard, he has a decent shot on him. So he may not hit everything like Hyuga, but like they said, they couldn't really take that chance. Like uh, Rico pointed out, they're not going to take that chance of him 
hit, start, you know, well, not Rico didn't say, Almine said it. They're not going to take that chance of him gaining traction and hitting threes, because as we know, threes are the quickest way to catch up. So, yep, they pulled him forward, and I, I do get what Almine is saying, though, to a degree. Marasa just wanted to block it. He was so irritated by Tepe, he wanted to block it. But at the end of the day, he kind of has to. Either you let uh, Tepe shoot and possibly hit that three, or you stop him. But in doing that, you risk him passing it off to someone else, getting around you, and you know, you know the spiel, you know, and all that. So that was a very genius plan. I, I really enjoyed that. They're worrying me with Tepe. They're overworking him. They're overworking him bad. And I don't. I feel like this is gonna come back to bite us um, with him working this hard. And I really wish they'd realize. And Tepe mo mainly, I wish would realize is that we have got more games you can't i know you're supposed to give it your all but we've got more games to go you can't just throw everything and risk it all into this game when you've still got uh, kaijo to go against you we've still got shutoku again to go against we still got rakuzen who is supposed to be the top team to go against and keep in mind we tied with shutoku <laughs> so we didn't even beat them we tied we have not faced Kaijo in a serious game. It was a scrimmage last time we faced them. And I don't, I don't even want to talk about Rakuzen. Hamuro, wow. So we're actually shutting down Hamuro a little bit. And it's funny, like, while I respect Hamuro and I think he's a good player, two things with him. One, I really don't understand his motivation other than it being kind of just jealousy. You know, I get that he, he sees... Um, uh, he sees Kagami as a rival and he wants to see Kagami do his best and I get that but that doesn't mean you guys can't be brothers. If anything, I feel like Kagami would have tried his hardest if he had never put up the brothership in the first place. You know, I think he, I think in his mind he thought if I put this on the line Kagami's gonna try harder but it's like you didn't know Kagami at all because Kagami prioritizes friendship above other things. He, he realized what's important. He's like, look, it's okay if I lose. I'm okay with losing, you know, just to make sure that our friendship stays intact. And he didn't realize that. So he thought by putting up his friendship, putting up their, their brothership, their friendship, that Kagami would try harder. It's like, I don't, I don't really know. I, don't, I, I guess I'm having a hard time identifying with Hamuro's character. Um, the other thing is, <laughs> Hamuro... He's good, but his um, skills so far are uh, disappointing me a little bit. Kagami hasn't even entered the zone, and he's basically holding off Hamuro. He's messing up his shots. He's blocked one of his shots. He's keeping up with him pace for pace. Um, he's not going for all the pump fakes as much anymore. So with all that being said, what else does Hamuro have to offer? You know, more. <laughs> You know, Marasa has been struggling too, but he's just entered the zone, and we're going to get into that in a minute. But, um, Hamuro, let me know what you guys think in the comments, but he's just not impressing me right now. Um, he, he was before, but to see how easily he was stopped by Kagami as far as his vanishing shot and stuff, and I think Kagami realized something on how to stop his, uh, Mirage shot. I said vanishing shot, Mirage shot. I think he realized how to stop it because he was, he was able to tip it that one time and he's like he it's like he realized something and if that's the case he's about to shut down Hamuro because all we've seen from him is excellent fundamentals excellent pump fakes and the mirage shot that's it he doesn't go for the pump fakes anymore Kagami really he, you know a little bit but he can read them better fundamentals are great but you know that's everybody's got fundamentals he's perfected them which is huge which is great but still you know you got to give a little bit more and then the mirage shot which looks like it's about to be figured out. So I don't know. I don't know. Hamuro, I need to see a little bit more from him. Ah, Marasa, I asked him not to go into the zone like five times. I asked him, please don't go into the zone, but he did it. This man's in the zone. He's about to block everything. He's about to block stuff from freaking full court at this point. <laughs> He's going to literally teleport across the court and just jam pack it down your your nostril just gonna slam the, the basketball in your nostril seriously i don't even want to imagine what he's gonna do in his final form as they put it his, in, while he's in the zone and i don't know I, all i know is this kuroko's got to come back in kuroko's got to come back in because this is going to be 
a problem. And I, it's possible that in the zone, he can block Kuroko's vanishing shot. So I don't know. But yeah, that's all I really, I guess, wanted to say on this one. I don't think I missed anything necessarily, guys. If, if I did, let me know in the comments. But um, my rating for this episode is a 4 point... I'm going to hold off and I'm going to give it a 4.7 because we're about to see Marasa in his final form in the zone. So 4.7 for now, very likely, more than likely, it's going to go up the next episode. So yeah, guys, that's my rating. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting the channel. It really means a lot. I will see you guys in the next reaction, in the next review. I am out. Peace.